All right, guys, what is going on? It is uh, day two or day five or whatever, second episode of uh, the trailer build. So today I'm going to get started with kind of cleaning things up and getting prepped to start adding things on. Uh, I'll grind down the places I need to grind down um, and start to let it take shape a little bit. We'll see. I'll get rid of some of these as well, cut those off and a few other things. So this video will likely be over a couple days, probably two, three, four days, who knows? Uh, hopefully not more than five or six because uh, we're running out of time here. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So uh, let's do this. I used to think that you were right in this, but maybe you were wrong. I'm just gonna say it. Man, I thought I was freaking hillbilly. This guy putting his box on like he, he chose, I don't, he tried to secure it well, but all he did was put a bunch of freaking welders or welds all over the place and make it annoying. Um, check this out. So he welded it there on that little deal. Just pulled that weld off, welded it to the box, welded this piece of crossbar here as if that's gonna freaking be strong enough to support this stupid toolbox. And then welded the toolbox to the actual frame. Dude's killing me over here. So now I gotta take this other weld off over here and uh, then take the bar off. So I guess bright side maybe is I have an extra piece of flat bar or flat stock or whatever you wanna call it. <sighs> Annoying. Anyway, good times guys, just having a blast over here. A lot of work to do. All right guys, I finally got the uh, box off. Pain in the butt there. Got the bar off, got this whole deal, the tongue all cleaned off, pretty good anyway. I might clean it up a little bit better. I'm gonna come up with a uh, better solution for mounting the box on it. I'm gonna move it back to right here. It, it only needs to be about an inch in front of this for the door to clear that and go straight up. So I'm not sure why our buddy mounted it all the way out there, but he did. So anyway, and then let me show you this. Um, so, I'm cleaning off the tongue over here and uh, noticed uh, how much this trailer costs. Somebody left a price tag on it. So I don't know if you know, but or if I explained it earlier, but I paid uh, 450 for this trailer, used and uh, modified. And uh, here's how much it costs new. Wow, this trailer is only 400 bucks? Jeez. It's a $400 trailer, that's for sure, guys. Uh, awesome. Uh, Could have went with a new one for the same price and probably not would have had to not do quite as much work. But anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to call it a night tonight. Uh, I don't like doing metal work uh, after dark in the neighborhood. I don't think the neighbors like it too much. So um, until uh, until tomorrow. See you next one. All right. It's uh, time to get welding. I uh, accidentally got a little bit of a head start. Not exactly stacking dimes, but uh, she'll do for what we're doing. Got my little uh, Lincoln, uh, what is this, 125 HD. Basically your gas-free model at uh, Home Depot. No gas, welding with flex core, because that's how I roll. So um, time to get the rest of this done. Uh, I haven't decided yet a couple things, but uh, let's see what happens, I guess.
doubting I'm gonna be able to record too much here because I'm low on battery, but uh, we'll catch up here in a minute. Anyway, I'm gonna add supports to the uh, tongue. Go from here to there, help secure my box, be a little more stable, so here goes. All right, guys, back at it another day. Oh, man, uh, I am up against the time crunch. Um, we wanna have this done by the end of the year. I have a lot of work to do. A lot of this is not planned. Thought I was buying something better than I was, but hey, we're gonna make something good of it. So not too worried about that. It's just gonna take a little extra time. So basically I had to chip away an hour at a time, thanks to mother nature. Um, I only have about an hour and a half each night to work on it when I get to it. So uh, we'll see what we get done with tonight's hour and a half. Last little section, probably already showed you, added these support beams here to the tongue and then added a new beam across, kind of double layered it there. So that's where we're at. With that said, today's project or today where I'm gonna start anyway is getting this beam put back in here, in the middle here um, to support, you know, going back and forth. Haven't 100% decided what I'm gonna do for the door back here yet. I think I'm gonna leave this and have one that comes down like this. I'll leave this tailgate like that, get some hinges to hinge it up and seal it. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do this one so the door slides out this way or swings out this way. And then I'm gonna hang a table or something on the back of it to kind of be part of my kitchen here. Don't have a ton of space on this little trailer, so I wanna try to make as much space as possible um, so if i hang something on that door get some sort of hinge system set up on that door um, that allows it to stay in place and then a table put on it i think it'll be a nice little uh, little setup to kind of add to what i've got going on here so um, with that said i'm going to get to uh, getting rid of the random piece of extra steel here remove this beam and then make sure i put a something that's the same distance apart as that one on the back so we're nice and square so uh yeah, that's what we're looking at for today. Let's get started.
right, I uh, ran out of battery, um, so but I did make a little bit of progress. So good news is I'm confident in the sturdiness of my trailer and uh, how sturdy it will become eventually. Super confident. Uh, I guess the bad news is I basically have to rebuild or had to rebuild the whole trailer, the top of it anyway. So I bought this sucker, as you all know, because it was uh, a lot completed. It had these sides built and all that kind of stuff. Problem is when I got it all torn apart, they're all kind of skiwampus. This one, let me show you this bar here real quick. This bar right here, um, you can kind of tell here, it, it, it goes from that corner of that bar to this corner of that bar, um, and then it's not super level. So basically I took out this front piece here, put a new bar here, I put a new bar there as well. Tomorrow, my wife's gonna be super happy about it by the way, but tomorrow I'm gonna cut this bar out, redo this bar. Um, so we're kind of all crossed up and square to start. So tomorrow I gotta get that done and then I've got to, just because I'm getting so far behind on this sucker, um, I've got to get my galley, kitchen, whatever you want to call it, kind of coming together. So I'll, uh, you know, I'll get that figured out exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, you saw the layout kind of earlier that I did with tape. It's going to be pretty similar. I may make it a little bit different um, just because I want to have some extra support in this crossbar here since it's going to be holding the uh the rooftop tent so man that's where we're at right now got a lot of work to do i'm not super worried about my budget i'm just kind of worried about getting this thing done quick because it's uh it's taking forever so um you'll see on the other side i guess i'll show you real quick uh, i got rid of a bunch of the bars here didn't have any need for them so i got rid of them just because of weight i'll probably I don't, i'm not sure what i'm going to do it here i think i'll probably end up just putting a wall on this for now um because just because of time and then uh down the road down the road i'll end up you know doing something over here whether it's uh, throwing in a water heater cabinet or um, doing other storage over here or whatever um we'll figure that out a little bit later but for now to stay within my 1500 dollars budget that's kind of what we're gonna have to do so um that's it all right i guess uh till tomorrow oh another day back at it so uh cutting off the crossbar and uh we'll see where it goes from here so hopefully i hope to have the majority of the steel work today because this is probably my last uh day i'm available to film um and i want to make sure i show you guys some progress so uh, like I said, hopefully I get all the metal work done or the majority of the metal work done. I want to have my kitchen framed in, this crossbar done, make sure it's all square, that kind of stuff. So uh, let's get at it another day.
All right, guys, making uh, some progress here. One quick uh, change I made to the trailer. I originally have two shelves kind of going up here. Gonna need to tweak that design a little bit. Just don't have enough steel, really, and it's not in the budget to be able to do it with the steel that I have. So, going with this design, gonna have two 28 and a half inch wide cabinets. This one will be the cookware. I will have another shelf that comes across here, and then I'll do the same over here. This is gonna be pretty tall. I'm gonna have a pretty short shelf here because I want it to be able to fit a good size cooler right there. So I'm gonna have the cooler right there. This is gonna come down and be a countertop. I'm gonna have my stove and cooking area there. Hopefully I'm able to work out a door on the back that I can hang a, uh, hang a table off of or some sort of counter space off of. We'll see if I'm not able to do it in uh, this iteration, I guess, or within the budget, then I'll probably do it without it and then add it after when I'm not under the budget constraints. So that's it. Um, I'm going to get these kind of tacked in a little better and then I'm going to work on the door. I'm hoping I get the door done tonight. I guess you'll find out by the end of the video, but I'm hoping I can get this piece at least, you know, set up the framed out and hinged in place. Um, we'll see. guys that's where I'm gonna have to end it for this video so before you go let's uh, let's check out the progress and kind of see where we're at um, basically since I last checked in I got the door frame completed um, you know if you don't plan these out perfectly you kind of have to roll with the punches which is what I'm learning with this whole trailer which is cool I'm good with it uh, but there's some things um, that kind of popped up so I built my frame here to you know be the width of uh this little section here which is fine um problem is uh my uh, countertop can't be hollow and invisible so i got to be able to sheet that somehow so um i'm going to look and see if i can get some 16 gauge or thinner um just super thin either aluminum or steel from my buddy uh, at the fabrication shop and uh, see if he has either some scrap laying around or if I can get a good deal on some cheap stuff because that's what I'm going to have to go with. I'm going to have to go with some super thin steel um, or aluminum or whatever to go on top of this. So that's kind of the next mission. Um, I also got to get me a piano hinge. I went and got these steel hinges, which are cool. They're weldable and everything else, but, um, but they're not going to work for, for this. 
um, I'm going to have to get some sort of piano hinge, some sort of low profile, something or other to be able to do it. Um, yeah, so coming along, next video is going to be hopefully a lot of progress because I don't have another one um, for a while and uh, still need to kind of hit it. I think I'll hit it pretty hard over Christmas, uh, Christmas break here. Um, won't give too much away, I will say, behind this, uh, this countertop or whatever you want to call it. There are going to be shelves that will be built in and I'll have to support those uh, with the structure under it. Um, obviously do some gussets and whatnot to hold it up. Um, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, as far as the other side goes, we'll have to see as far as budget goes, but guys, that's it for this one. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, appreciate you following along. Um, we are having a lot of fun doing this. Hasn't been the most popular series that we've done, but it's been a lot of fun doing it and uh, we're excited kind of for the results. So um, all of us enjoy getting off, uh, outdoors, getting off road and, and being able to pull something behind our side-by-sides, uh, be able to go up in the mountains and enjoy that is gonna be pretty fun. So we're excited about that. Um, like I said, it's been a, an enjoyable experience. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Um, I guess that's it guys for this one. If you've uh, liked what you've seen, then uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, we certainly would appreciate it. Um, if not, you know, leave us a like down below if you, uh, if you like what you're seeing. If not, don't, it's cool. Um, but with that said, that's it for this one. Ride safe, pack out what you pack in and we'll see you on the next one.